Hi guys! It's your girl Chantal Janae and I am back with another video for you guys. Thank you so much for everyone who's tuning in. It's been quite a bit of time, I know. But I wanted to just give you kind of like a life update and um, kind of focus this on my business. Also telling you a little bit about some of the things that I carry, that sort of thing, because I've had some questions regarding that. So first, my business is called Watercolor Crystals. It started because I am now a registered nurse. I work on the floor. I work in the ICU unit here in Nevada. And I was so used to wearing my healing crystals. This is a set that I actually carry. It has the seven chakra stones and each um, bracelet has its own, represents its own chakra. And on the ICU floor, I'm not able to wear bracelets. I deal a lot with my hands. I deal a lot with wounds in what I do. And so I wasn't able to continue wearing them. And considering I was working like five days a week sometimes, things like that, it just wasn't conducive to me wearing them every day. So I started looking more into waist beads and African waist beads. And when I started to get more into what they mean and the emphasis that they have on healing and empowerment and manifestation, it really connected with me on a spiritual level. I'm a person who deals with holistic healing as well. And so with that being said, it was a perfect segue for me to start to figure out how to make them myself. That way I can wear them even at work underneath my scrubs, right? That being said, I started making them and lo and behold, some people started asking me about them. Now, of course it wasn't at work because I'm wearing scrubs, but I was out and about wearing crop tops. It's summertime, right? And people were asking me like, oh, where I got them from? So I started to commission other people to make them for them, right? So with that being said, fast forward to today, watercolor crystals. It is an emphasis on skincare, um, crystal healing, and jewelry. So I wanted to first feature a couple of my favorite pieces. This one here is called I Am Lovely. It is definitely not for the faint of heart. As you can see, it has large rose quartz stones in it. It's one of my favorites, um, but again, it's for someone who is not gonna wear this every day or something like that, just because it's a little heavier because of the stones. Now, most of my waist piece designs do come in um, elastic tie-on and um, screw closure in case you want the elastic stretch, but with a closure. So it's easier to come on and off. You just screw it like this. So that's this one. And then my actual personal favorite because I am such, like my very, my very favorite meanings of the stones is like balance and um, wholeness. And so this is my favorite set. This is called I Am Worthy. Let's see if it'll focus. And again, focuses on the seven chakras. This is like one of my favorite. It comes in silver and it also comes in gold. The gold is actually like the most popular, which I'm surprised at. Here it is in tie-on form. I personally like silver better, but the gold is like knocking it out of the park as far as popularity. So those are a couple things that I am into now. Also, I have skincare. So this is like my body scrubs. This one is called I Am Magical. I love the colors in it. And what this is, is a, it's a whipped sugar scrub. So I really, really, really love, this is like my favorite scent actually. Um, it's like a musky with coconut type of scent. It's not too sweet, not too floral. And that's like my personal type of favorite. My mom actually loves this one too. Hey mom. Um, but that's also what I'm doing. I'm doing skincare. I have some oils. I have some hair growth oils. I have like here. 
here is one of my hair growth serums. I'll link all these down below if you guys are interested. And then here is my oil cleansing for the oil cleansing method. I started doing this years and years and years ago, oil cleansing, and I kind of fell off because I have an issue with consistency, but um, I brought it back and it's actually one of my favorite things to oil cleanse. It's such like a soothing ritual every day. Okay, so that's just a little bit about watercolor crystals right now. And what I also wanted to do quickly was show you guys how to measure yourselves for waist beads. I get this question so many times. People wonder, can you just use my pan size? Like, no. It's really, really personal to where you want things to lay. So what I have here is a tape measure. So I have it, it starts at zero. So for some reason, this can be confusing for some people. So this one, this is a full inch from this to this. So where you want to actually measure yourself is wherever you want your beads to lay. So mine typically lay, let's see if I can give you guys a little bit more area here, right here. That's where I personally like to wear them. It's really your preference. Like some people love to wear them lower, like here, and then this is where you would measure yourself. Some people want them to be higher in their waist. It really all depends on where you want them to sit. But for me, I'm gonna measure right where I want them to, right where they're currently laying, because this is like my, my thing. So I'm gonna wrap them. I'm just gonna wrap the tape measure around me. And wherever it stops is where I'm is the measurement I'm going to use. Now, one thing to note: if you're going to do um, permanent tie-ons, I would give yourself a little bit of room, okay? Like poke yourself stomach out a little bit, those sorts of things, because we all have you know the time of the month, maybe, or days where we eat a little too much. You don't want to feel like choked. <laughs> You don't want to feel constricted so just give yourself a little bit of room this is not the time to be cute and suck in your stomach it's not all right so i would just wrap it around see exactly wherever you want it to lay there's no right answer or wrong answer to this just wherever you want it to lay and you're going to take that measurement you're going to take that number and that's what you would submit to me so I typically am like a 26, 27, like in between there. So that's typically what I shoot for whenever I measure myself. Now, if you do not have a tape measure, do not worry because I have created actually a print your own tape measure. So what you do is you could just print this on regular paper. This is on cardstock. You don't need cardstock, just on regular paper. You're just going to print it out. This is the measurements of an actual ruler and you'll just match each part up to each other. So you can just tape them from like here, the end to the end. And it gives you instructions as well as to like how to print it. So this I just thought was gonna be really helpful because I have a lot of people who don't have like actual tape measures and they also don't have rulers. Um, and if they even did have a straight ruler, it'd be kind of difficult to measure yourself with this, you know, to try to figure out like the curves, like, so that's why I created this. Let me know if it's helpful. I'll link it down below. But if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Please for, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you like this channel, if you have questions, if you're on a, um, let me know what, I'll let you guys maybe decide what how, what avenues this channel explores. Um, if you want to see the journey, entrepreneur life of a business starting off, like my journey, I've been in business for almost a year now and I have been overwhelmed with 
the amount of positive response that I've gotten. You guys mean so much to me. Thank you so much for all the support. Um, but if you have any questions on like how I make my skincare, how I formulate my skincare, how I got my business registered, because that's important, how I'm preparing for tax season, because that is important. If you have any of those questions, please comment down below so that I can like just help you guys along. Some of this was a lot of research that I did. Some of it was trial and error. I have changed my name, my business name like multiple times. So if there's anything that you guys just need a little bit more information on, please just let me know. Cause this is like, we can all win. We can all succeed. It's all a learning curve and a journey for all of us. So if you have any questions, just let me know. See you next video. Bye.